Alright, so extreme rules. <clears throat> no Daniel Bryan, that's okay, because Wade Barrett has a match against the Neville. This is being your kickoff show. Great match, beautiful back and forth. Neville gets the victory. Nice match, worked well, great setup. Ambrose Harper, part one. They begin brawling, then brawl the back, then get in the car, and then leave the arena. It appears to be awfully bright. For 7 o'clock in Chicago. So their match kind of just stops. At this point, Vince, you have earned your CM Punk chance. We then go into the Ziggler Sheamus Kiss Me Arsh match. Great back and forth, but these are your two workhorses. You expect this great sort of, you know, work rate for a match. Lots of false finishes. Did a good job with that. Ziggler gets the victory. Sheamus now has to kiss the Ziggly Duff. Alright. They tease this for a super long time. Until Sheamus finally goes down for it. It's a big low blow. And then, has a case of the hungry bum, rubs Ziggy's face all over his butt. Alright. Could use the few, not bad, worked well. Brass Ring Club takes on New Day. New Day members this it's Kofi in Big E. Crowd very much behind the Brass Ring Club. Lots of great back and forth. Two good tag and point a good high quality match. Now, you get some heel tactics, which lead to New Day becoming your champs. So, we had Ziggler win a match, get his face stuffed into Sheamus' bum. We had Harper Ambrose have a false. You then take the titles off of Kid and Cesaro. Okay. <clears throat> In the back, the news is like, we say New Day, you say New Champs. And then all of a sudden, a car was pulling up behind them. Harper and Ambrose continues. They throw a bunch of chairs in the rain. So, two former CZW guys decide to cover the chair, cover the ring in chairs. A little more back and forth. Dirty Deeds, one, two, three. Ambrose gets a singles victory on a pay-per-view. <clears throat> he hasn't had one of those in such a long time. But, you know, overall, decent match. Got the, got the point across. Worked pretty well. They then set up for the Russian chain match with the light sensors. D's behind this match is you have to maintain your forward momentum and then hit all four of the lights in succession. This, this is the problem with a, a PG chain match. Chain matches work best when you can choke your opponent with the chain. Can't do that. When you can punch your opponent with the chain and bloody them. Can't do that. So this match just felt like a poorer version of their match at WrestleMania. No package started this time, which was nice. <coughs> you know, the chain really actually hampered what they could do. Except for a couple of spots. Where, you know, Rusev was using the chain to kind of have a Cena kind of prone on the outside and kick him in the back. Those sorts of spots work, went, worked well. But there really wasn't, you know, like, oh, Cena's down. It was like, Cena's down. Go for the touch and turn. No, no, no. Cena's down. You beat him with the chain. You know, you take that big watch and you just whoop the crap out of him. You need to do something to make it just really cranks up the brutality of this match. And they just cannot do it. 
Cry chance for Lana. Lana gets up. Rusev is like, no, no, I'm Mike Knox. You're Kelly Kelly. You get out of here. You, you get out of here. And then, of course, John Cena wins. <clears throat> we then followed up with Nikki versus Naomi because Paige is off filming a movie. Naomi now has a new song. She essentially she says, I'm amazing. With like a dubstep techno rap hip hop beat to it. I was like, well, that's different. And her outfit is different. We're like, alright, let's see how she. Oh. Why is she wearing like Diego neon glasses? Her shoes change colors throughout the match. Per personality? And their match was pretty good. I do, I know he's got this move that I love. It's the running bulldog to put her opponent's head into the turnbuckle. It's a beautiful move. I think you need to do that move and then in a, some sort of like pinning move. She did actually do a bubble uh, bow bomb, which of course is, is the full Nelson sit down like like butt bomb. And then she did like, you know, the, the, the leg wrap and then roll her over for a pin. I'm like, that's not a bad move, not a bad sequence. <clears throat> but Bree gets involved, attacks Naomi with a big kick to the head, rack attack. Nikki retains. Their match was okay. They've had much better matches, which is sad. That you have better matches than you do on a pay per view. Their matches on main event have been very good. Very common. This one is a longer match, and it didn't seem like they really knew what to do with the longer period of time. Roman Reigns Big Show in their in continuing their John Cena Randy Orton style of matches. This match made both of them look like they were Superman. Whether it was Roman Reigns being choked in from the outside of the ring through two tables on the outside and then standing up at like, at like nine. Going through barricades, going through tables. Doing a spear to take Big Show from one announce table down and through the other one. So they, they put, they did a lot in this match, but neither guy would stay down. They then ended with the Del Rio spot. <clears throat> Roman Reigns sips over a table and stands on it. If you can't think of any other ways of keeping Big Show down, Lesnar did it. When Lesnar took on Show at Royal Rumble and he beat him mercilessly with a chair to the point they actually had to cart him out. And it was like, you know, that was a severe, savage, brutal beating. This one just made it seem like, regardless of what happened, Reigns is going to get up. And I was like, show going to win this? That would be... Nope, Reigns is up. Big move by Reigns. Show, show's getting up. Dang, they are throwing it all out in this match. <clears throat> but this was a really good match. Uh, but when you do Last Man Saying, then it's like, ha ha ha, I've trapped you being underneath something. Yeah, they did that to Bray Wyatt. It was like, ha ha ha. I've tipped something over onto where you are. Ha ha ha. Don't really have to be Big Show. At, at this point in time, this is a match I think they need to quit doing. <clears throat> so you can do some sort of, like, big nasty spot. You know, when, uh, when, when Ryback put John Cena through, uh, through the backdrop. And then, like, in, like, a no contest. That was a huge spot. They had a lot of spots where you were like, all right, barricade. That could be your fit. Nope. Both these guys are Superman. All right. Then you're like, okay. Tip the table over. Stand on the table. The big show is stuck under that table. 
Do we just see Willis like a barricade and like four different tables and beating like Captain with the steel chair? Why? Why? why is, what, couldn't you find like an explosive, like, exploding monitor to have him take out Big Show? So it had everything they threw at each other was not keeping them down. So it's great bump. Like all right, and this giant moment is table tip. Oh, they did not smack down. This is how you end it. <coughs> I was like, oh. And I was like, you know, he could have beaten him with the chair, put the chair next to his head or something, like did some sort of weird like rigging. Superman punched the chair into his head. He could have taken, you know, like some chain wrapped his fist around. Him. The fist with chain and Superman punched him with chain a couple of times. He could have grabbed like a hammer and Superman punched him with a hammer. I mean, they could have done so many just really brutal, violent things to have ended this match. But they can't do that. So just don't do the match. Now we get to our cage match. The RKO is banned steel cage match. These two guys have some great chemistry. However, it still was not as good as their match at Mania. Their match at Mania was freaking almost flawless. This match, with having Kane on the outside and heavily booking Kane into this, it did detract from the match overall. <clears throat> Orton couldn't use the RKO. He hits a pedigree, and I was like, if they end this match with him hitting a pedigree, brilliant. Like, that's a fantastic way. Because then that, that's, that is the biggest middle finger to the authority aside of middle finger to the authority. I'm like, that's perfect. And then I thought, how come that's not Rollins' finisher? You know, the, the new DDT is, nah. If he were to boss out a pedigree, be like, Triple H, show me how to use this move. I am the future. That could have been his finisher. It would have been a fantastic finisher. <coughs> Your center could be turnbuckle power bomb. You know the guy comes kind of staggering out of the corner. You could then do the the, the jumping high knee, and then when the guy staggers again, spin around pedigree or a turnbuckle power bomb. Guy comes staggers out, falls out to one knee, slide into a pedigree underhook, boom. So these two guys had a, a good match. Jay just security get involved. The end, of course, has King get the. Uh, the uh, Door kicked into his face. Kane then gets into the ring. Chokes Sam Lorton. Crowd's like, uh. Chokes Sam's Rollins. Crowd's like, yeah! Puts Orton on Rollins. He puts Rollins on Orton. Oh. Orton Gordon's kicked out. Yay! Orton, RKO to Kane. Okay. Rollins, RKO to Orton. Rollins slithers out. Okay. Glad I watched it on the network. <coughs> An RKO by, by Rollins onto Orton. An RKO to Kane gets that either what's like invalidates the match. And they are pushing for payback. Oh, apparently, an I quit match between Rusev and Cena. So now John Cena will have been Rusev's first pinfall, and then his first submission. Also the first person to break the accolade. Just like he was the first person, I think, to break the master lock. So, so John Cena has this tremendous uh, accumulation of like firsts. And a triple threat match between Rollins, Reigns, and Randy. Which seems like a pretty good match. I mean, when in doubt, you either have the champion feud with Kane or your triple threat matches. It's so all in all, this pay per view very much felt like Super Raw, which is the problem with the shows on the network. They don't quite seem to know how to write really great, compelling matches. The ones that we knew were going to be good were good. You know, Barrett Neville, surprise match, worked well. 
the tag match worked well. Ziggler, Sheamus, at this point, I'm pretty sure those two guys <clears throat> could wake up and be like, get your gear on. What's going on? You're fighting Ziggler. All right, uh, whatever, fella. Where we're at? Parking lot. All right. Can I take a shower first? No, just put your beads in. Just, you know, sex up Zoidberg, go out there and have a match with Ziggler. And it would be better than half the matches they put on that are not NXT.